at the end of this tutorial we're going to create jello cubes i hope you enjoy this tutorial and please don't forget to like and subscribe all right step number one select your default cube press g to grab it z to lock it to the z axis and type in 10. once you've done that press numpad 3 to be in right orthographic view and press r to rotate and then type in 45. press numpad 1 to be in front orthographic view and press r to rotate and type in 45. and now press tab go into edit mode right click press subdivide click over here and just up this to 10. press tab go into object mode now go to your modify properties add modifier and we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier to help smooth out the edges a little bit um, here we go and if we up it to 2 it should look pretty smooth right click on this and shade it smooth and I'm quite happy with that if you want to render this out maybe you want to render it out on 4 or 3 it doesn't really need to be rendered out any more than this it looks good next thing you want to do is go to your physics properties and add soft body physics if you play it as is now it's going to float in the air like that nothing's going to happen and the way you fix that is to turn off goal and let's expand edge and turn on stiffness and self collision and give it a bending strength of about five and now we're going to press we're going to minimize this and we're also going to give it a collision and just leave it like that and now we're going to press numpad 7, press shift A, mesh, and we're going to use a plane. We're going to scale this plane and type in 2, 0 for 20. And that should be enough space for our simulation. And we're going to click collision. And the last thing we want to do is select this cube over here and press shift D to duplicate and press Z to lock it to the Z axis. Press numpad 3 take a closer look and perhaps if you want it to be in a different angle let's rotate this 45 degrees numpad 1 rotate this 45 degrees now you've got an interesting shape and if you want you can add one more shift D Z just so we've got something interesting going on here so they're all going to probably be hitting each other at some point going all over the place and uh, now that your scene is set up the next thing you want to do is select any one of these cubes and this part will take a little while so select the cube go to collision and not collision pardon me go to soft body and go to catch and you want to bake all dynamics this will take a little while perhaps you want to reduce your simulation in this case I will not and uh, actually I'll just reduce it to 200 and I'll see you after this bake is complete the catch will be over here and you can watch it go up it'll start fast and it will slow down once um, it requires a lot more processing power per frame alright so I only did about a hundred frames for the sake of this, the tutorial and I paused it so right now my simulation looks like this and that looks fairly real but it uh, stops a bit prematurely only because I don't have the time to wait but you get the idea uh, knowing that it stops over yeah on 101 I'm gonna make my in frame 101 and now the main thing that we just need to do is Add materials so we can lift this up click here click on shader and I'm gonna go to material settings and I'm gonna change this to a glass material go back go into random mode and to get the right view I'm gonna change to cycles and let me just fix the scene quickly so it's a little bit better so for the scene I'm gonna Let's make the scene, yeah, this color over here, something like that should be fine. Then let's choose the light source. We can leave the light source on spotlight, but let's change the color to something a little bit warmer. 
let's select the plane and give the plane a material I'm going to give the plane a glossy material so we can see the reflection of things and I'm going to leave it on white but I'm going to change this to 0 0.2 and I'm probably going to have to change the world color to something a lot brighter like pure white that should look a lot better all right now the next thing I want to do is select this over here and currently they're all sharing the same material because we duplicated it so we'll have to change that shortly but for the first one I'm going to choose Oh, control Z, pardon me. I have to go to the material settings. I'm going to change this to, let's try green. Press plus, new, select this, remove that, change this to glass, make this, guess, red. And then select one of these, add a new material, select this one over here, delete it, click new, change to glass, and select a new material, maybe an orange. And I'm going to press Control B, because and I'm going to select this area here, because I've got a really slow computer. I don't want to render everything just this small section here should be more than fine and I want to mess around with the roughness so I'm looking at this object here if I make it 100% rough it looks like this which and if I make it not rough at all it's a it looks like ice so I'm probably let's try 0 0.8 probably 0 0.6 Let's make them all 0 0.6. All right, I'm quite happy with that. And we could go to our render settings and play with a few things here, like adaptive sampling, denoising. All right, so here's an image of a cycle's render where light is still going through it. it looks pretty good looks like an interesting um, version of jello cubes and obviously you can change it from cycles well we can just go to the material viewport and we can go to the beginning and press play you can watch our animation in action frame by frame so obviously a little bit slow to get the idea but yeah, hopefully you found this tutorial useful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate that.